What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures by Playmates. Uh, these guys uh, are out, I don't know if this is officially out, I had a little bit of uh, issue trying to get these out of the store from Toys R Us. Um, cashier seemed to think these are not out yet, but whatever. Um, I did my thing, paid for them and ran out of there, and here they are. Uh, so I was, I managed to um, pick up all the turtles and then uh, Splinter and Shredder. I wasn't going to get Splinter, but uh, I had a coupon for 10 bucks off if you spend 50 bucks. So uh, I got all of these for around $40 after taxes and everything, so not bad. So um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open these up. I'm going to do the review on all of them together. Now before we go ahead and, and pop them open, uh, let's check out the boxes, all right? Just in case you guys are interested in that. So here is Leonardo. And you'll see the packaging comes in. You'll see the little daggers back there that are on a little sprue which you pop off. So that's uh, very nice and very, very reminiscent of the other figures. Uh, as it says here, includes Ninja Arsenal. And you'll see down here it says he is the leader and king of the Katana Swords. Which he has right here off to the left. Has some very nice artwork here. We turn it around. It's got the whole lineup back here. I'm assuming that's Wave 1. Uh, I do want to get Krang, the foot soldier, not so much April O'Neil, I could give two craps about her. And back here is a little card you can collect and cut out, a little bit of uh, Leonardo's information there. It says he's hardworking, honorable, and respectful, alright, apart from other things there. Weapons, Niten Ryu, double katana swords, team Ninja Turtles. Alright, so let's move on to donatello next again donatello comes in the same type of packaging with his little weapons on a sprue back there uh... he is the inventor and weaponier and again same artwork uh... he's got a closed mouth instead of the gritty teeth mouth that you'll find on leonardo we spin him around same thing get all the pictures down here and a little collectible card of donatello uh, which explains that he's inventive and detail oriented. His uh, weapons are the Naginata six foot bow staff with blade and also part of the Ninja Turtles obviously. Next we got Raphael. Again same thing, sprue weapons in the back. He is a hothead and sharp psi expert. He's got the size right here and he looks a little angrier and tougher than the other two guys we just saw. He's got a darker green. Same thing, collectible card uh, tough, quick to act, hot temper, weapons, size. So, that's Raphael. So, let's now take a look at Michael Angelo. Same thing as the other ones, guys. Sprue with the weapons. This guy's nunchucks off to the side. He is the jokester and hard hitting nunchuck hero. Turn him around. Same thing again. Up here is a card you can cut out. He's impulsive, creative, and very social. Weapons, Kusarigama. Nunchucks. And he's making a little silly face there. Off at the top here, we have Splinter. He is the honor roll sensei of the Ninja Turtles. And he's got a nice little clearish blue staff here. Turn him around. Again, the card cut out. Uh, protective and precise. Uh, weapons, hands, feet, tail, walking staff. Anything and everything, apparently. So, that's Splinter. And next, we got Shredder. I'm kind of happy I found this guy. Was hoping I would find him. He is the deadly leader of the evil Foot Clan. And he's got his weapons here. No sprues or anything like that back there. All the weapons are already detached. Uh, he's got some nice spiky armor, which we'll check out once we open this guy. Again, the card. Um, now, speaking of all the cards, everybody's got these cards. I mean, I know they're all the same shape, but I, you know, probably would have been cool to have square ones. You can collect them a little easier. Um, but whatever. I guess they're trying to be different. Uh, he's cold, cunning, and cruel. His weapons include forbidden ninja techniques and razor-sharp armor. And he is of the Foot Clan team. So now that we've taken a look at all the packaging, guys, we are ready to open it and see what's going on. So now that we have all the figures out of the package, I do want to start out with the non-turtle figures. So I will start with Splinter first. Let's just move Shredder back here. So Splinter, he is the sensei father of the turtles and he teaches them the ninjutsu and stuff like that. So anyway, on to the figure. Uh, the figure, um, it's got soft PVC cloth, not real cloth, just PVC type. 
uh, the whole figure is actually PVC. It's got this uh, little sort of see-through uh, staff here, uh, which just fell. And the articulation, just side to side. You'll see the neck is just a um, standard swivel there, side to side like so. The shoulders are pretty good. They do go out pretty far down. The elbow swivels here. No wrist, but it doesn't matter because you do have the swivel there. Uh, and the waist, he actually does have a waist. You'll see if we look up his skirt that there is a waist. And he's got the tail that you have to pop in from the box, so just pops right in. And no knees. His knees are already bent. Nothing more you can do besides just moving back and forth out to the side. Kind of limiting because of his uh, dress. But that's Splinter. Uh, nothing too exciting. So off to the next one we have Shredder so here's Shredder Shredder is probably uh, my least favorite out of the bunch uh, not character wise I'm, I'm talking about figure wise um, they apparently did not really make too much of an effort to make this an outstanding figure so Shredder again entirely PVC made figure check out the front and the back check out the details here so Shredder is actually a pretty good looking figure it's not too bad. It looks like he's molded in a purplish brown. Uh, he's got some uh, okay paint details. Not as good as the rest of the figures, uh, it seems. And uh, I'm not too happy with all of the articulation on this, even though it has some pretty cool uh, stuff like uh, the arms. But let me show you the head. The head just goes back and forth, you no know, up and down. It's got these uh, shoulder pads here that do swivel up and down, so that's nice. The actual arms are uh, rather articulated. They do go up like this, but they're kind of hindered by this piece. Then he's got the elbow. And he actually does have a wrist, which is good. Has a waist joint. Has the hips. No knees. No knees, guys. No knees. Which is really weird. And no ankles. So, um, even though I love the character, the figure is not that great. It does have a little sword here. And these plastic pieces are not molded onto the arm. You can actually move them about. But yeah, so not too interesting, but still a good looking figure nonetheless. Now we're going to do the turtle figures. Here's Leonardo. Uh, we're going to start off with him. Uh, the figure, very, very well done. You can tell they spent all their time making the turtle figures. The turtle figures are just uh, pretty good in my opinion. And the fact that they're under $9, or just under $9, guys. Um, there's a lot more detail here than I've seen in $15 figures. The paint apps are, are really, really good. really have nothing bad to say about the paint apps. Uh, even the detailing, the sculpt is, is really nice. Got all the cuts on the shell here, scars on the skin, and the skin has a texture that makes it really look uh, leathery. You got the shell here with the dimples, he's got this rubber katana holder which holds the katanas there. You can pull them out. They come off so you can obviously put them in the hands. So I'll show you what that looks like. Pop them in, holds them really nice. There you go. And this whole holster here is also rubberized. It's not part of the figure. I was kind of thinking they were going to mold this onto the figure, but I'm glad they didn't. Now, it did come with uh, extra weapons, which I didn't take out of the package because I'm not a big weapons guy, but here they are, still in the spread. And take them out. It's got the three daggers, a bunch of uh, other stuff here, like the stars and another katana, and I'm not sure what this is, but that's there. So, just a very, very nice figure. So, next we are going to move to Donatello. Again, Donatello carries uh, over all the great sculpting that we see in the other figures. A lot of the scarring and the cuts and everything on the shells. You'll see his sculpt is different. You'll see he's uh, a little bit taller, thinner than uh, some of the other figures, which is cool. They didn't reuse any parts as far as I can tell to make other turtles, which I thought was excellent. I don't like them having to reuse stuff. So you really feel like you're you're getting your money's worth because they're all different sculpts. The head on this one, same thing, moves up and down very slightly. Got the side to side. Shoulders, great shoulders. Uh, you got the elbow, very slight on this one too. The wrists, no waist. You got the legs. 
Now um, the legs uh, do sort of go out, just not a lot. We got the knees, slight bend in the knees. Again, no uh, ankles. And he also does come with his weapons on a sprue, which is uh, these right here. He's got these uh, spinning star things, uh, a bladed staff here off to the side, and a pair of nunchucks. And you'll see the bow staff is on the back here, which can be removed and placed in his hand. Just like so. So again, a very, very nice figure. Very happy with it. So now we are going to move on to Raphael. Again, different sculpt. Now you see the different sculpt in the faces, which I really like. Um, this one's got a nice, nice snarl to it. So let's take a look at the detailing on the figure. Again, really great. Love the way this is like blowing in the wind, sort of. Um, he's got a big nick right there on the front part of his shell, which is really good attention to detail. Again, a lot of scrapes, a lot of cuts. Uh, he seems to be like the most beat up one out of all of them, really. So like all the figures, same thing, great articulation. Uh, the head up and down, shoulders, elbow, wrist, uh, hips, knee, no ankles. Um, the back here, you'll see he can store away his weapons on his belt. I do love that feature of being able to store the weapons. You can put them right in his hand, although there's not a lot of space there. So you kind of have to squeeze it in. There you go, just pop it right in. But these are very soft plastic hands. So there you go. Looks really awesome, just like the other ones, very happy. He's got the throwing stars, two dagger type weapons, and then this here. Don't know the name of that. So we got one more to check out. And last but not least, we have Michelangelo. And you'll see he's the shortest of the bunch. If you line him up against all three, he is pretty small, but he does pack a wallop. Uh, let's take a look at his detail. Again, very similar to the rest. He's got the scars all over his chest, on his back. He's got the dimples on the shell. Uh, scarred up uh, skin, blah blah blah. Articulation is pretty much the same as all the other ones, or not pretty much, it is the same as all the other ones. So nothing new to be seen here. And I know I keep mentioning uh, that these uh, figures do have good articulation. What I mean by that is, because uh, obviously they're pretty limited, it's not great articulation, but for what they are, I think they're pretty good. They even have more articulation than the 11 inch gigantic Ninja Turtle figure, which I reviewed previously. And, and the figures just look great. Uh, but continuing on, he's got his nunchucks back here. Now with the nunchucks, um, I'm wondering if like both handles are supposed to fit in each thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure they do. But I noticed when I would fold these together, the plastic would stress. It would just turn white. So I uh, kind of don't want to break them. So this is the way I put them in here. Just like that. So whatever. Um, you can also obviously put them in the hands just like all the other weapons. Just pop them right in. There you go. And here you got Michelangelo's weapons. You got this chained weapon here, a few throwing stars, and again they abbreviate his name. Right here it says Mike. So there's all the figures for now guys. Uh, there's a couple more I want to get and review for you guys, but this is what I got all at once. So they're all in this review. I have to say the turtles are by far the best of the, the series I have here. Um, Splinter uh, is better than Shredder in my opinion. and. I did go over what I didn't like about Shredder, which was the fact that he looks like a cheap figure. Uh, almost like this could be a knockoff of a Shredder toy. Uh, the molding is not as good. Uh, no knees. That's what really bothers me the most, I think. You know, like he's got all the basic articulation going on, but no knees. Uh, you know, I, I could do with without the ankle, but er, no knees, uh, that's a big downside. He kind of doesn't really like to stand. He's got one leg, seems longer than the other, and the feet don't lay flat. But uh, yeah, aside from that, I'm just really nitpicking. The figures are great. Um, if you want to pick them up, they're starting to pop up at Toys R Us everywhere. And I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Um, again, leave questions, comments below. If there's anything I missed you want to uh, tell me about, just leave it in the comments below, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.